Sana, the team didn't get three points, but you got your very first goal for the Chicago Fire. Talk us through that finish and, and kind of how you felt you performed on the day. It's disappointing we didn't get the three points, or maybe at least a point on the road would have been great for us. But um, still, um, we just got to go back to the drawing board and then work on the, you know, the negative side of it and then take on the positive and move on. Patrick Miako back on the pitch. First time since May 18th against New England. Didn't get the result you wanted, but how did it feel to at least get out there? I felt good, you know. It's uh, it's been a long, frustrating, you know, three months, and uh, you know, finally was able to get back on the field. And like you said, you know, I was really going after the result, but it wasn't the result we wanted. But it felt good to be back on there and um, try to help this team make a push. Now, Toronto is a team that's hurting, unlike New England, uh, without a win in five games and a lot of off the field stuff as well. Obviously this is a must win nearly mathematically at this point, but more as a statement, how important is a win? Uh, it's going to be huge, you know, and uh, from the standpoint of making things interesting, you know, I, I feel like we still have a chance to, like I said earlier, go on a run and try to make it interesting. And so this is going to be uh, the start of it. You know, Toronto is hurting, but you know, those are the dangerous teams, you know, uh, not one in a while, you know, they, they, they tend to motivate themselves to get that win. And so, but we, I feel like we're more desperate than they are. You know, we are home, you know, we need this win, you know, to, to, to give ourselves a chance. And uh, I think the guys will be ready and come out uh, fighting.